Doug, tell us a little bit about this aircraft. So this is the Honeywell Aerospace 757 test bed. Uh, it services our engine department, so it does a lot of engine testing, which is why you see a lot of structural mods. But we also do SATCOM, radar, and general technology demonstrations, as well as development on the aircraft. So it's a flying surrogate test bed for a lot of our technology. I'm joining the flight today to get a first-hand look at Honeywell Aerospace's new surface alerting technology, SURF-A, which is expected to receive FAA certification in 2026. It can be integrated into any aircraft equipped with Honeywell avionics and helps pilots avoid runway incursions. SmartX, which is already available, helps pilots avoid runway excursions and wrong surface operations. Runway-related incidents, like incursions and excursions, could be deadly, and every second counts when pilots need to take action to avoid a collision. Training is one element in layers of safety helping pilots avoid accidents, but another layer of safety can help reduce the likelihood that the holes in the Swiss cheese line up. Honeywell is showing us how these warnings work in real time. These demonstrations are based on real-life incidents where this technology could have given pilots more time to react. To get some insight into how this tech can help save lives, I spoke with Thea Feyerizen, a distinguished technical fellow at Honeywell Aerospace. I've been with Honeywell for 30 years uh, and was awarded Distinguished Technical Fellow in January. Thank you. I'm also the first female in, 100, uh, in the 120 year I feel like company. I need a high five here. <laughs> ah, <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> The first piece of this functionality is already certified, and that's called SmartX. It's an EGBWS software add-on, and it helps protect the pilots against runway excursions and wrong surface operations. So it reduces the risk of the likelihood of those type of incidents or accidents by providing the pilots an oral alert as well as text message. For example, runway excursion, where a pilot comes in high, comes in fast, maybe they haven't configured their flaps for landing. You would get an alert at about a thousand feet above the ground, flaps, flaps. Another alert provided by SmartX is if they're too high on a standard approach, three degree glide path. If they're too high, you would get too high. If they're too fast, you would get too fast. These are general rule of thumb type of, you know, stable approach monitoring, and it provides the pilot alert. It also helps to reduce the likelihood of a wrong surface operation. When I say wrong surface, I mean taking off on a taxiway instead of a runway, or trying to land on a taxiway instead of a runway. Caution, on taxiway, on taxiway. At nighttime, in poor visibility, uh, or even sometimes, honestly, during the daytime, they can mistakenly try to take off of a taxiway. The second piece is called Surface Alerts, or Surf A, which Honeywell expects to get FAA certification in 2026. Traffic on runway. Traffic on runway. Now that one also is demonstrated today on the EGPWS as a software but it also has to have the ADS-B in. It has to have that GPS position of the other aircraft, and it looks for a potential collision on the runway surface. If there's a potential collision on the runway surface less than 30 seconds, it will provide the pilot with an oral alert like traffic on runway. Traffic on runway. Traffic on runway. If there's two aircraft that are on the runway at the same time, but they're not coming at each other, they're both crossing or your line up and wait and someone's crossing, it's not gonna provide an oral alert to that. It would only provide an alert if you start taking off and someone else is on that runway and it predicts you're gonna collide within 30 seconds. But would you say there's a wider prevalence of these? Are they growing? You know, um, are these very common scenarios? In yeah. So we. What I say, the near misses are getting nearer and nearer. If you look at the total number that the FAA tracks per year, total number about 1,600, 1,800, that is not necessarily increasing. 
but the number that are near misses. And so, you know, instead of tens of seconds, right, it, it's becoming less. So we see that around the world. Air traffic doubling about every 15 years. Not a lot of new runways are being built or airports are being built. And so if you just look at the density of operations as those are increasing, it only makes sense that the aircraft are getting nearer and nearer. ATC is having more aircraft to manage. I think it's important to add an additional layer of protection here. FAA is looking at it to add more displays in the tower. Unfortunately, those displays aren't as the X. They don't have oral alerts. Controller has to be looking at the display in order to detect. Kind of like an ADS-B in display in the cockpit. Yeah, that's great. But if the pilot's not looking at it, it's not going to help. And usually around the runway, pilots are eyes out and not, you know, so the oral alert is very important, whether that's Smart X or Surf A, to get their attention. I'm proud of the safety work that we do here at Honeywell and proud of the legacy of a company um, that invented EGPWS, Weather Radar, TCAS. So, so yes, I think Surf A is, you know, the next missing link, if you will, in terms of protection about runway safety.